Hello, and welcome to our video on using VST and DX plugins within Band in a Box. Band in a Box supports the use of both VST and DX instrument and synth plugins, as well as VST and DX audio effects plugins. The control of VST and DX plugins is managed from the mixer on the plugins tab. There are two types of tracks displayed in the mixer, audio tracks and MIDI tracks. Audio tracks are displayed in green and have four slots that can be used for audio effects plugins. MIDI tracks are displayed in either yellow or blue depending on whether or not you are using a MIDI super track and have four slots as well. However, the first slot is used for an instrument or synthesizer plugins and the remaining three tracks can be used for audio effects plugins. When you click on a slot, this launches the VST DX Synths Plugin dialog. So let's quickly go over the controls of the dialog. Down the left hand side, we have a list of all the mixer tracks. The selected track will be the track any changes are applied to. The combo track is used to apply effects to all tracks. The default synth is the MIDI synth that will apply to all songs unless the custom track synth is applied. To the right, we have the edit column. To edit one of the plugins in your chain, it needs to be selected in the edit column. Next is the bypass column, where you can bypass the plugins in your chain. And then we have the plugin selection drop down menu, where we can select the plugins we would like to use and add new VST plugins to the list. Below, we have the options button, where we can remove VST plugins, as well as scan or register DX plugins and more. We can load or save a group of plugins for all slots of a track. And we can also save, load and delete any settings of a single slot as a plugin preset. Now that we have gone over the controls of the VST and DX plugin dialog, let's add some plugins. First, we will start by adding a VST synth plugin to our MIDI bass track. So we will select the bass track on the left hand side and then we will click the plugin drop down menu to select a plugin. There may be a short list of plugins that have already been installed. For example, the Sforzando plugin that came with Band in a Box. Once a plugin is selected, its control panel will appear at the bottom of the plugins window. If you are using a VST plugin for the first time, you will need to select Add VSTI plugin. This will open the Explorer and you can navigate to the location that the VST's DLL file is located. Just select the plugin you wish to use and press open. And now our new VST plugin is ready to be used and will be in the list whenever we need to use it in the future. So now let's add some audio effects. So we'll use the second plugin drop down menu in our chain. Direct X plugins are always at the top of the list and should show up automatically if installed properly. So let's select this graphic EQ. And now we can change the parameters in the EQ. If we would like to use a VST effects plugin, we will have to add it to the list like we did with the synth plugin. So go to the bottom of the list and select add VST plugin. Same as before, Navigate to the location of the VST DLL file, select the file and press open. And now we can make any changes we want within the VST plugin. We can see over here, all the plugins we have selected are displayed in order on the mixer. If you want to disable one of the plugins without resetting the parameters in the plugin, you can use the bypass button or save your changes as a preset. Thanks for watching our Band in a Box video on using DX and VST plugins. Have fun! Yeah.